What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you this cool hack that you can use in the stir family inside of Revit that's going to allow you to create some really cool looking stairs in Revit. So I'm an architect, I love stairs, I love the, the cool design stairs and the stair tool in Revit is usually quite boring so I'm going to be sharing this hack with you that's just going to allow you to create some amazing stairs but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week also if you would like to download this project file check out my patreon there you can find all of my Revit project files over 300 files so far one more thing if you're if you would like to know more of these stair hacks I have a whole complete course on stairs a one hour course that shows you multiple ways that you can edit staircases and all of those fancy tips and tricks so that's available on my patreon as well there I've got like 22 more courses and they're all one hour long so these are like advanced courses okay with that out of the way let's get into the tutorial so I'm going to be showing you how to do a stair profile or how to edit it and change it and make your stairs look cool so I'm just going to be using the regular uh, architectural template within Revit so I'm just going to click on that uh, let's give Revit a second for it to start up and here we go Okay, so once we're here, I'm just going to go in straight into the stair tool and then I'm going to choose the assembled stair. So just pick that one and I'm just going to go from level one to level two. So only the default settings. I'm not going to bother with that too much for this tutorial. Okay, hit finish, go into 3D and this is what we have. So first I'm going to get rid of railing just because I don't need it uh, for uh, this tutorial. So. Let's just select it and get rid of it. Okay. So once I've gotten rid of the railing, I have to get rid of some more elements. So here for these stairs, we have these side supports uh, called stringers. So I don't need those. And also I don't need the, really the risers. So I only need the treads. And then we're going to be changing the thread profile to create some cool design staircase. Uh, stairs. So I'm just going to select the, the stair family, go here into edit type to go to change properties, duplicate this and let's uh, call it a cool stair. Because why not? Hit OK. Okay, so now we need to get rid of those supports. So I'm just going to get rid of uh, the right support choose none and the left support choose none. Now if you're wondering how is this going to be standing I'm just going to go here into the floor plan let's get rid of this up sign okay and I'm just going to choose a wall the 300 millimeter generic wall uh, let's go from level 1 to level 2 and let's go here for finish face exterior and then I'm just going to go just like this. So basically uh, this stair is going to be kind of uh, embedded into the wall. So it's going to use the wall uh, kind of as a base. Okay, so once we have that, let's continue editing the stairs. So what I'm going to do is select it again, go here into edit type, let's make some more changes. So to uh, play around with the run type, let me just maybe move this off to the side. So to play around with the run type, you need to go here into edit type and then find a construction run type and then open that up. So that gives you another type properties menu for the run type. And here, as you can see, you have your thread material, riser material, and then threads and risers. So as I said, risers, I'm going to get rid of those. So hit apply and also they're slanted. So I'm just going to get rid of that slant. And there we go. Now here you can play around with the thread thickness and uh, the nosing and stuff like that. So I'm not going to really bother with that. I'm going to be creating actually a new profile. So here we have a thread profile and we can add in a family. Now if I open up the drop menu, it, we only have these two uh, uh, profiles. So I don't like those. And I would like to create my own profile, something like a reverse triangle profile that follows kind of the curvature of the stair or the angle of the stair. So let's create that as a new profile. So I'm just going to hit apply, cancel out of this, cancel out of that. Okay, maybe I should have clicked okay. So yeah, let's go back 
yeah so yeah uncheck these apply okay apply okay there we go okay now let's go to one of the elevations perhaps the east elevation okay so what i like to do in this elevation is to create a new line so let's just go here to annotate uh, detail lines and then i just go like this so from one to the other and then i'm going to go from here to there okay and there you go so this is what our uh, new stair is going to look like so if i just do it like this and go to trim and extend so tr is the shortcut for that and here if i select this so you just hover over one of them hit the tab key select all of those and we can move it off to the side so this is what i want my new uh like stair profile to look like so we have a bunch of these like uh reverse triangles going up i think that would look cool so let's create a, let's create some a profile like that, and of course it's going to be hollow. It's going to be probably some uh, sheet metal or something like that. So let's create that profile family. So we need to go here to File, uh, New. Let's go to Family, and here we need to find a metric profile family. So let's choose that one. Hit Open. And basically, this is what we have. Now, uh, because we have this triangle created over here, we can select it. And I can just go Control-C to copy. And then go here and go, go Control-V to paste. And then I can paste it like this. Go to Move, select this point, and just place it like that. Okay, so we have this in place. And we know that the, dim the dimensions is going to kind of mirror this dimension of this thing over here. So that's good. We just need to give it a bit of an offset. So this is uh, going to appear as just sheet metal. So I'm just going to go here to line, pick lines, let's say it's a three millimeter sheet metal. And then let's just go like this. Uh, make sure that everything looks all right in all corners. Okay, uh, let's collapse that. Okay, so let's say this looks perfectly and we want to load this into the project. So first I like to save. Now that's just one quick tip. Don't uh, don't load it into project as family one because then if you make some changes and then save it with a name, it's going to mess it up a bit because uh, then inside of the Revit project, it's going to search for that family one. So I suggest you always first save your family and then load it into the project. So I'm just going to go here to desktop and let's call it cool stair profile. Okay, so we have that. Let's now load it into the project. Okay, there we go. So it's loaded into the project. Let's go into 3D, select the stair, move it out of the way so we can see it, edit type, go here into run type, open that up, go to thread profile, open that menu up, and we don't have that profile. So what's wrong? Why can't we edit that? Well, uh, because for these profiles, it cannot be a uh, two closed loops like this. It has to be kind of one closed loop. So what you need to do a quick fix is what I found that figure out like the quickest fix is to kind of detach it a little bit over here and then go maybe to line and do just one line like this. Then trim and extend, trim this off and then let's go and create another line over here just like that and then trim and extend and close that off. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. So it's basically a cl closed loop now. It isn't two closed loops. So this now should work. And now if I go load into project, override, go into 3D, select this stair, and then go into edit type, go here to run type, and let's try to make that change, thread profile. And here we go. We have the cool stair profile. Hit apply, okay, apply, okay. And there we go. So there you go. We have that cool staircase profile. And as you can see, it's a profile. If we go maybe to shaded, that's what it looks like. So it's going straight into the wall. It's hollow. So that's cool. And of course, you can play around with the material. If we go here into realistic, it looks like this because it's using the default material. But if we select it, move it off to the side, maybe we can oops, uh, go here into run type. And let's change that to, to some cool thread material. So let's go with something like, I don't know, like white. And let's see what we have. Do we have some white metal? No, let's see. Okay, let's go with the plastic. I guess that's okay, or maybe not. Okay, metal finish, paint finish. Yeah, that's, why, that's right. Okay, let's go with that one and hit apply. Okay. 
apply and there we go so we have that white triangular staircase that looks really cool so there you go that's how you can create something like this in Revit how can you hack the stair tool to create something amazing like this okay so I hope this was quite useful again as I said if you want a complete uh, course one hour course on the stair command and all of the uh, tips and tricks and hacks that you can use to kind of create cool stairs like this uh, check out my patreon first link in the description there you can find a lot of uh, a lot of my courses 22 courses so far and they're all over one hour long also there you can find this uh, the stair family and this project and you can download it and use it in your future projects okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please like and share this video subscribe if you haven't already and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day